So have you ever looked at a gun and said, that thing is absolutely absurd and stupid? Where can I get one? Now today, I'm gonna go over five stupid guns that I really wanna buy. Now what's a stupid gun? A stupid gun is a gun that has no real purpose for it. So each of these that I'm giving you here is not gonna have much of a real use for it, or at the very least, there will be some other gun that will be a whole lot better at it than these. But every single one of these is still going to be a gun that I want because despite them being useless and stupid, they're still all going to be really awesome. So let's start off with our honorable mention. The reason this is an honorable mention is because, well, technically this isn't actually a gun. Now, the last time I was at a gun show, everybody was trying to sell these. They were jumping out everywhere with them. Why are they jumping out with them? Well, because this is from John Wick, and people know if it was in John Wick, people are going to want to buy it. So what's the name of this thing that was in John Wick that's not a gun that everybody wants? The Micro Roni. Now let me walk you through this here real quick. This is Macron. This is a Macaroon. This is Marconi. This is Macaroni. And this is the Micro Roni. Basically, it's a rifle carbine frame that you can stick your Glock into and use it like a carbine. So, Micro Roni, big extended Glock mag, that's pretty awesome. But if you don't have a Glock, then you gotta buy a Glock and a Micro Roni. So, why not just buy a pistol caliber carbine at that point, but then you can't just go pull your pistol out of your carbine. Okay, actual gun number five. Everybody likes a big honking pistol. When you think of big honking pistols, you think of Dirty Harry with that pistol that's the most powerful pistol ever made, and it'll blow your head clean off. Now, that was an accurate statement back when Dirty Harry was made, but now there are a lot bigger things out there. What is one of the biggest and baddest things out there? The Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. I mean, you can look at the size of the Smith & Wesson 500 versus the Dirty Harry gun, and it makes the Dirty Harry gun look like a little tiny pea shooter. This thing is huge and massive, and it's great, and of course we want it because it's huge. And while it's made to be able to take down any game animal in America, most of us aren't trying to actually go up against grizzly bears with our revolver. But that still doesn't mean that we don't want one. Stupid gun number four. What is the opposite of a big, stinking, honking handgun? Well, a really tiny handgun. What's an example of a handgun that's really tiny and really cool? A Derringer. And that's where we're going to get to these Bond Arms Derringers. It's a little tiny gun that's got two barrels. Now, these were really popular because... They always went bang. It's like a double barrel shotgun. There's not much to go wrong in it there. It goes bang twice. You know you're going to get two shots out of it as long as you put good ammo in it. So why is it stupid? Well, just like a double barrel shotgun, it's only two shots in it. Once you used up both your shots, well, hopefully you got the job done with that because if you didn't, you're in trouble. I mean, it's just not real practical and real quick to reload. You got a two round capacity. There's so many other tiny little auto loaders and tiny little revolvers that will do the job better than one of these, but these things are still cool and we still want one. Stupid gun number three. Well, I mentioned double barrel shotguns a little bit ago and what the problem with them is that you only get two bangs out of them. So how can you get more than two shots out of a double barrel shotgun? Well, Chiapa's got the answer for you, and that is don't make it a double barrel, make it a triple barrel. That's right, Chiapa just stuck a third barrel right there in between and on top of the other two on the side by side for the triple threat shotgun. It goes bang, bang, bang. It looks cool with the third barrel. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a lot more heavy for having an extra barrel on it, and you're only getting one more shot out of the thing, so is it really worth it? Who cares? It's awesome! Stupid gun number two. 
Now, a lot of people have taken a look at that 410 shotgun round and been like, that thing's not a whole lot different than a 45 caliber round. I bet you we could start cramming that into places where we put 45 long colt. And years back, Taurus came up with the idea of making a revolver with a cylinder that was long enough that you could put 45 colt in it or 410 shotgun. The Taurus Judge. The Taurus Judge is not the stupid gun that I want because I really don't want one of those. I mean, you go bang with it a few times and you're like, okay, that was kind of cool, but I'm done with you now. So why am I bringing up the Taurus Judge? Well, somebody else used the design from the Taurus Judge and made something else from it there. That's going to be Rossi with the Circuit Judge. What is the Circuit Judge? The Circuit Judge is this. What? That's right. They took a Taurus Judge and put a stock on it and a really long barrel on it and turned it into a carbine. It's a revolver carbine that can shoot 45 long colt or 410 shotgun. Now, is it going to be any good as a shotgun or as a 45 long colt carbine? Who cares? It's awesome. It's a revolver shotgun carbine thing. I mean, you pull that thing out at the gun range and people are going to be like, what in the name of Samuel Colt is that? I mean, of course we all want one. It's just too absurd to not want it. All right. So now what is going to be the thing that takes the number one spot? So I saw this on a video a while back and I saw that and I'm like, oh yeah, I want one of those. And I saw the $4,500 price tag and I'm like, well... I still want one, but I probably ain't gonna buy it. So what is this thing? Well, let me just go ahead and throw a picture of it up here for you. You're like, what? Jeremy, that's a Gatling gun. Yeah, it's a Gatling gun. But let me tell you about this Gatling gun. This Gatling gun is a 9mm Gatling gun that runs on Glock magazines. Now this 9mm Gatling gun is made by Tipman, who are kin to the people that make the paintball equipment. And you're probably like, wait a minute, how can you make a Gatling gun? I mean, that thing's like a full auto gun. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not full auto because you have to hand crank it. It's not the power from the cartridges making it fire. It's not got an electric motor on it. So it gets around the NFA so you don't have a tax stamp on it and you can legally buy it if it was made after 1984. I mean, come on, it runs on Glock mags, people. Glock magazines. You just take a Glock magazine, you stick it in a Gatlin gun, you crank it, and you go to town. What possible use could it have? Maybe the zombie apocalypse? I don't care if it's useless. It's amazing. So that's the five stupid guns that I really want. Did I leave off one of your favorites? Well, let me know in the comments what it was that I missed. You can also leave in the comments if you think this whole thing is just absolutely absurd. You can like my video or also subscribe to my channel to make sure that you don't miss any of the videos that I post. I'm Jeremy with Poindexter G, and we'll see you next time.